Welcome back to my channel. The reason why you clicked on this video ay dahil may anak kayo or kasama sa bahay na gusto ninyong malimitahan or makontrol kaka-Facebook, kaka-ML, or kaka-cellphone, especially ngayon na start na uli ng schooling. Mabilis lang naman. Medyo iba-iba ang tawag sa pages or features kada internet service provider pero may similarities pa rin mapapansin. Ang ipapakita ko ngayon ay kung paano lagyan ng parental control sa Globe at Home Wi-Fi postpaid, ban internet access pero may oras lang, block some sites lalo na yung hindi appropriate sa mga bata, and block unknown devices. First, mag-open tayo ng browser then type natin sa address bar yung 192.168.254.254 or globebroadband.net. Kahit alin sa dalawa, same lang ang landing page nila. Then, enter your username, which is user, and your password. If hindi pa naman kayo nakapag-change ng password, makikita default password niyo sa likod ng modem mismo, kasunod ng default Wi-Fi password or WLAN security. Mapapansin niyo yung current time na naka-display is 6.54 a.m. of January 24, 1970. So, mali yung time and date. If na-setup nyo na parental controls before and nagtaka kayo bakit hindi gumagana, check ninyo time and date na naka-display sa taas. Baka hindi updated. To correct this, i-click natin internet, then SNTP, then makikita natin NTP or Network Time Protocol Servers. I-change ninyo current NTP Server 1 into either ntp.nasa.gov or time.nist.gov. Sa akin, both ko na lang sila nilagay, then click apply. You may need to log in again to see the update. Now, pansinin niyo date and time sa taas. Updated na sila. Ngayon na ayos na natin siya, proceed na tayo sa parental controls. Balik tayo sa internet, then go to parental controls. Click natin create new item, then lalabas name, user identity and time policy. Enter natin name, for example, Bunso Wi-Fi. Then, click natin select from the associated devices. Lilitaw lahat ng devices na currently connected sa Wi-Fi. Each device or hardware is assigned with 12 character unique identifier na tinatawag na Media Access Control Address or MAC Address. Itong list ng connected devices sa Wi-Fi makikita rin sa homepage, WLAN Client Status, sa Local Network, Status, WLAN Client Status, and sa Local Network, LAN IPv4 tab, a located address. Going back sa parental controls, select tayo ng isang host name. Huwag ninyo kalimutan i-on. Dito naman sa time policy, ang default option selected is ban internet access. Meron ding options for URL blacklist and URL whitelist. If gusto ninyo i-restrict access sa isang website, paste lang ninyo link or URL dito. This way, hindi mabivisit ng anak ninyo yung particular website. Now, for the days in duration, pwedeng everyday yung time policy or certain days lang. Like for instance, Monday to Friday. Then, for duration, ito yung period kung what time mawawala ng connection yung device or phone niya. For example, gusto nating iban access from 10pm to 6am. Since naka 24-hour clock siya, so 10pm is 2200. Then up to 5.59am. Kapag kinlik natin apply button, malilitaw na error kasi hindi pwede mas malaki yung nasa left sa time sa right. So, ang gagawin natin is split natin sila into two time policies. May ginawa na ako rito sa taas, isang 4.10.01pm up to 11.59pm and isang 12 midnight up to 5.59am. Currently, naka-on sila. What if naman by any chance na gawang ma-change ng anak ninyo MAC address ng phone niya? Gagana lang kasi yung ban internet access na ginawa natin for that MAC address. Hindi ko sure if possible sa lahat ng phones, especially sa newer models, ang ma-change pa ang MAC address. But just in case, mag-go extra mile ang anak ninyo and na-bypass niya to, ganito ang gawin ninyo. Pero bago yun, if you want me to create more tutorials and helpful videos, please support by subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified of my new uploads. Now, let's continue. Punta tayo sa Local Network, WLAN, WLAN Advanced tab. Makikita ninyo Blacklist and Whitelist options under Access Control Mode Configuration. Sa iba ang tawag dito WLAN MAC Filter or Filtering. SSID 1 lang usually ginagamit natin pero depende kung inactivate din ninyo yung iba. 
Kapag sinelect ko blacklist, kukunin niya lahat ng MAC addresses na nasa access control, rule, configuration, and i-restrict from Wi-Fi access. Kapag whitelist naman sinelect natin, lahat ng MAC addresses dito, sila lang ang i-allow kumunek sa Wi-Fi. Para makapag-add ng devices dito na either masasama sa blacklist or whitelist, click nyo lang create new item. Type ng name, then paste yung MAC address. That's all for now guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.